Running back Tony Pollard finished as the running back 19 on the week against Jacksonville in week 15, 19 for 75 on the ground. So not too shabby. And then four receptions for 31 receiving yards. And that was on five targets as well. This was the fourth time in the last six games that Tony Pollard has had at least five targets. He's been heavily involved in this Dallas offense. You've, we've seen upticks in volume ever since Ezekiel Elliott originally went out. And the Philadelphia Eagles are not a terrible matchup against opposing running backs. In particular, Tony Pollard was able to finish at the running back 28 on the week. The last time they squared off, he went 11 for 44 on the ground. He had two receptions for eight yards. But this was before really the ascension of Tony Pollard into the 15 plus touch per game type of running back. Hey everyone, if you like the content, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks. So I anticipate that he's going to still finish in that. He's a, he's a, he is a wide range running back too. He's going to get you that running back 24 floor, but he has an elite ceiling. We've seen four of the last six games, Tony Pollard finished as a top seven running back. And could this happen in Philadelphia if the Cowboys just dominate? Absolutely. But it also could be more catch-up mode if, if Gardner Minshew is on fire or if somehow Jalen Hurts is playing in this game. That's how I'm you're you're playing Tony Pollard this week in your fantasy semifinals. Yeah, it's I'm not scared of the Philadelphia defense. You're playing Tony Pollard. Do not be afraid. Fire him up. Let him lead you to the promised land.